Good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. Kirk Fisnick, and uh, I'm coming to you live from here in uh, Fargo, North Dakota. Actually, I live out in the country just a little bit, and uh, yeah, so um, I do sizzle full time, kind of tell you about me. I've been a chiropractor for 34 years. I got involved in a motorcycle accident about 13 years ago, and they told me that I'd probably never walk again because of uh, injuries that I sustained to my right leg. And they also said that I'd probably be on narcotics the rest of my life and, and, and life would never be the same. Um, you know, the one thing that you'll find out about me is that if somebody says I can't do something, chances are I will do it just to prove them wrong. But uh, when it's life changing like that, I guess really who wouldn't do everything they possibly could, um, in my case, to avoid an amputation. And so I spent uh, two years, uh, the better part of two years, in a wheelchair using crutches, using canes, and, and uh, really just uh, defying um, the medical system. I got started with uh, network marketing as a way to generate an income, but I point this out to people that I really looked hard. I actually got involved with a couple of companies along the way, and before I found this company, before I found Sizzle. Uh, S-I-S-E-L, uh, and it's an acronym that stands for uh, Science, Innovation, Success, Energy, and Longevity. And uh, we really uh, follow those, those principles, and, and, and we have a goal of, of uh, helping people become financially successful and, and healthy. And, and really, I tell people, my purpose in life, it always has been the 30 some years that I've been a chiropractor is to help people live better lives, pain-free, stress-free lives. And so the whole mission, the Maurer mission, as it's called, of Sizzle really fit in with my mission in life. And, and I tried to explain that to people. So as I'm explaining this today, really here's the nuts and bolts of what I'm doing is I want to put together a video so that you have things kind of in one place. Look, a lot of people, they're sold the wrong bill of goods. You know, they're, they're not really given the right information when they get started with network marketing. I mean, that's why we have a high uh, failure rate in this industry is because most people have never been given the right information to start off. They've been sold the idea, they've been given the idea that somehow this is their lottery ticket, that they don't have to do anything. I mean, have you ever heard somebody say, oh, just sign up with me and I'll give you people and I'll help you build your business, right? And then they get you going and you never hear from them again. They never help you. All they wanted was that initial bonus they got for signing you up. Somehow, they believe that that's their job. Their job is to sign people up because that's what they've been taught. That's what they've been taught. Let me tell you a story, my own horror story. When I first graduated from chiropractic college, I opened up my clinic in uh, another doctor's clinic, basically paid him a percentage of what I did in order to have my clinic there. And one of his friends was involved with, you know, a company, Amway. I'll tell you which company it was. And uh, he said to me, he said, Kurt, he said, this is what you need to do. Um, and I'll be there. I'll have to make a, a lot of money. He said, look at that uh, new uh, Mercedes that I have out there. It was paid for with my Amway business. And, you know, I'm a young guy, 25 years old, just graduated from chiropractic college. And I thought, okay, I'll get started. And so I bought the, the box of products. And you know what? To this day, I've never heard from that guy again. He never called me back. He never returned my calls. He was taught that signing people up and praying that they would go sign up a bunch of people was the way to do the business. Folks, that's not the way to do this. That's why this business has such a bad name. So what I'm going to tell you is this business is built around 
honesty with people and setting the stage right away. So I'm going to share with you what I think is the proper way to prospect. And it's taken me a while to put this together in my own head. You know, I've been, I've been working in this industry now uh, for the last 13 years since my motorcycle accident. And so I've made my mistakes along the way and you're going to make some mistakes too. I know you will. We all do. We all do. Don't be afraid of that. Don't be afraid of falling down. Just get back up. Right. And uh, it's not going to be fatal mistakes. Nobody's going to take away your birthday or anything like that. And so here's what I say. Look, if I'm prospecting you, and, and uh, Bob, I won't pick on you this time. I always use the name Bob, but I'll just say Mary. Mary, I've got something that I found that might interest you. Would you have 15 minutes to take a look? And I'm hoping that Mary will say, yes, I'll give you 15 minutes. And I'll say, great. I said, Here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you a 15 minute video. It's actually a little bit less than 15 minutes. I want you to watch it. And then I want to find out what you enjoy about what you saw. Did you like what you saw? And uh, so when do you think you'd be able to watch it? And I get them to give me a time. And then, and then I say, so I'll call you back. And I, I, call, I, I, I set up a schedule where I'm going to call them back 15 minutes or so after they've watched the video. So if they say, well, I've got 15 minutes right now, I say, great. I'm going to call you in about half an hour. And I just want to find out what you thought about it. And here's, here's why, Mary. Because if you have interest, it's going to be an awesome thing for you. If you don't have any interest at all, I don't want to waste any of your time. And I know you don't want to waste any of my time either. And, uh, and that's really how I do it. So let me show you the video that, that I, I share with them. Okay, hang on one second. Here's the video that, that I'm gonna share um, right here. I go to this list here and um, it's gonna be this video right here. Okay, so that's the video. And then I call them back and I say, hey, Mary, so what do you think? Do you wanna get on board with me? And I really do just say it just like that. Do you wanna get on board with me? I've given them 15 minutes, they've watched it. They've heard some short testimonials from five or six people on the business and and so now I just want to find out, do they want to get involved with me in the business? They're going to say yes or no, or they might give you some kind of a clue that, you know, they might need more information. A lot of people need more information, but they're going to give you some kind of an answer. And then you just need to follow up with that. But let's just say that they tell me, no, Mary says, no, uh, you know, it's just not something that I want to get involved with. And I say, okay, great. I say, Mary, before I go, just because I know that you're into staying healthy, if I could, could I share some information with you on the topic of anti-aging? Would you, would you watch a, a short video on that? And chances are she's going to say yes or no. I mean, yes or no. And so at that point, then um, I'm going to share another another video so let's uh let's uh let's let's go to um these videos again and i'm gonna go pick a video on um oh let's see i'm going through my list here i'm gonna pick this one it's just a three and a half minute video and it's kind of funny. Um, and 
but it kind of puts the wall down. It takes your wall away. And I might just say, you know, um, I know it's just a real short video. It doesn't say a lot, but it talks about some important things. And then, and then I'll just find out what her interest is. And she says, well, you know, I know somebody that has, and they'll, a lot of people will list a condition or they'll say something. Do you have anything for whatever, you know, fill in the blank there. And then uh, I'll go find that video. I'll say, yeah, hey, I, I know that we do. I know we can help that. I've heard some stories. And so then I might go find a testimony or whatever, but I'll, I'll share it with them. Okay. But if they said yes, if they said yes, then at that point, I'm going to say, so, okay, Mary, um, you've expressed that you, um, you, you want to get involved and, and the video was on business on making some money. So I already know where, where her frame is, her frame of mind. I, so I'll, I'll say to her, I'll say, Mary, tell me this, have you any experience in running your own business? And let's just say she says no. And I'm going to say, well, Mary, you know, in this business, there's going to be some startup costs. And I've, I've been a chiropractor for 34 years. When I got out of college, I had $100,000 in student loans. I started up my own business. It cost me over 10 grand, you know, actually quite a bit more than that. But let's just say, you know, I've got about 100,000 wrapped into my chiropractic business just for the startup costs, right? Not including the fit up and the equipment and all those other things that I had to have to start up my business, but $100,000, right? When I opened up my clinic, I wasn't guaranteed that I was going to be successful. I wasn't guaranteed that I was even going to get one patient. Um, I wasn't guaranteed that I was even going to make $1, right? But I had to put that money into the business in order to get, to get started. Those are startup costs. Mary, does that make sense? Right? Whatever example you want to use. I mean, you could be sitting in a Starbucks and you could say, hey, you know, I mean, when they started this Starbucks, they had to go buy the franchise, they had to buy the coffee, they had to buy the mugs, they had to buy the cups, they had to buy the cream and all these different things, right? There was some startup costs involved with it. Does that, does that make sense? And Mary's going to say, yes. Um, and you, you're going to say, so in our business, there's some startup costs as well. But Mary, before we really get into that, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. How much money would it take to really get you excited about build, building this business? How much money would you have to make? And Mary's going to throw some figure out with you. Um, I was just talking to uh, my friend Maurice this morning, and I had this conversation with him. And I said, Maurice, how much money would you have to make? And he told me. But let's just say that, that Mary told you, you know, $3,000 a month. I'll use that as my example, $3,000 a month. And, and Mary, Mary says that. And, and so I said, great. And I said, Mary, so um, $3,000 a month in a business that you're going to start part-time because, you know, full-time you're off doing your other job. So realistically, how much time can you devote to this business per day? right? I want to know per day. I don't want to know per week because I don't want them just to work on Saturdays. This is a business that you want to put in a little bit of time, even if it's just 10 minutes a day. Be honest with me. How much time could you put in per day? And she tells me, oh, I'll give you, you know, two to three hours. Okay. So I'm going to choose the lesser of the two. I'm going to say two hours. So I'm going to say, you know, Mary, is that two hours going to be like one block of two hours? And she comes back and says, no, you know, I've got kids at home. I've got a full-time job. It's going to be like little chunks of time throughout the day. I say, okay, great. So 15 to 20 minute chunks throughout the day that you can really put into your business. And she says, yes, I can do that. I said, great. I said, so you want to make $3,000 a month. You want to work two hours a day part-time. And let me ask you this. Realistically, how long do you think it would take for you to make that $3,000 a month, putting in two hours a day? And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to shut up and I'm going to let her answer me. And it might take, I mean, it might be a 
complete silence for five minutes. And, uh, and then she'll come back and she'll say, well, you know, a year. And, and, and my answer to that is, okay, so let's see if that sounds realistic. You want to work part-time, two hours a day in little blocks. And you want to do that for a year. And you want to make $3,000 a month. Does that sound realistic? And again, I'm going to wait. I'm going to give her the chance to think about it, roll that around in her head a little bit, and see if it sounds realistic. To me, that does sound realistic. You can do that. With this industry, you can do that. But I want her to think about it. It's her answer that's important. It's not what I think. It's what she thinks. And so then she's going to come back, and she might say, well, if you put it that way, that's what my friend Marie said. And so I'm, I'm going to say, okay, well, I think it sounds realistic. I think it sounds like something that's very doable. Um, and I'm, I'm here to help you do it. I know people who've made more than that. It's going to take some work. I mean, it's real work. It's not going to be shuffling papers, moving from here to here. You know, it's not going to be listening to conference calls. It's not going to be training. Um, things like that. This is work work, right? And your work is to uh, stay in contact with people. So I think that's realistic. I said, so we were talking about um, startup costs in the beginning. So I want you to watch this, this short video. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to pull up another video. Hang in there with me while I grab that video. And uh, um, it's this video right here. Profit seminar number eight, okay? And because I think that in order to make money, let me, let me start over, right? If I said to you, if I said, I said, Mary, I'm going to give you a choice here. Same work, you have to do the same thing, but you have a choice. Do you want to make $20 an hour or $50 an hour? And I'm going to give her a chance to answer. And her answer is going to be probably $50 an hour. I mean, if she said $20 an hour, I'm going to be thinking I, I'm talking to the wrong person. But in this case, I'm going to say, okay, great. Yeah, that's exactly it. So that's why the wealth builder system is the only way to get started if you seriously want to make some money. I'll tell you why. Because it opens up all eight pieces of our compensation plan. If you leave one on the table, you don't get paid in that part of the compensation plan. So you have to start out as a wealth builder. That activates the wealth builder system. It's a one-time purchase that you have to make with a wealth builder pack. It explains all that in that video. But that's your startup cost. And so back up a little bit. I might have asked her, most of the time I try to, but I forgot when I was making this video. I would, I would have said, before I had her watch that video, I would have said, I, I would have said, Mary, okay. So we both agreed that you want to make $3,000 a month. You want to work two hours a day and you want to make that money in a year. And we both decided that it's realistic. So how much money do you think that you'd have to put into the business in order for that to work? You know, we're sitting here in this Starbucks. We know that it costs a lot of money just to buy the franchise rights to use the Starbucks name. You've got the coffee, you've got the uh, cream, you've got the coffee cups, you've got the brewing machine, you've got the grinders, you got all that. I mean, in my chiropractic business, like I said, I had over $100,000 invested and I didn't have a single patient. How much do you think you'd have to invest into this, right? I'm going to ask them that. But if I forgot to ask, I'm going to ask it now. And then, I'm gonna, and then they're going to come up with a figure. You know, like um, my friend said to me, oh, probably, you know, 10 grand, realistically. Okay. So you'd have to invest 10 grand in order to have a, a job that would pay you, to have a business that would pay you $3,000 a month, and you'd have to work for a year part-time in order to get there. Okay. What if I said, 
that we could do it for less than 500. Because that's, again, realistic. The Wealth Builder Pack costs less than $500. And that's not just here in the United States, that's in Australia and New Zealand as well. So $500, you can get this business started. It opens up every part of the compensation plan. And if you understand traditional business, you understand the cost, the startup cost, then this is all starting to make sense to you. It's, the pieces are starting to fit together. The bricks are starting to, to fit in place, right? So Mary, Mary, um, the next question I have to ask you is this. How many people would you have to talk to in order to find one person who would have said yes to this business just like you had? And be skeptical. And I think that she's going to come back. Most people come back with, you know, one out of 10, one out of 20, maybe one out of 30, right? Whatever their number is, use their number. Use their number. Don't say, oh, you know, it's more like this. So let's just say that Mary's really skeptical. And she said, oh, God, you know, um, 100, I'd have to talk to 100 people, you know. And I'm going to say, I'm going to say, okay. So that means if you want to get started with this, you'd have to talk to 100 people just to find one that would join you into business. That's being really skeptical, but it's your numbers. So when you get started with this business, I'm just going to say this is that you really want to get your return on investment, your ROI, you want to get that in the first month so you can be in business for nothing. And the quickest way to do that is with the Wealth Builder System. The Wealth Builder System was really designed to put money in your pocket really quickly. You've watched that video, so you've seen that. And so we wanna find those first three really quickly. So what I want you to do is we wanna come up with a list of names that, you know, those people that are kind of your high rollers, the people that you know that have been in business before that would understand this, the people that you know that have tried to do network marketing before they've had the dream, it just never worked for them. People that you know that seem to know everybody, people that have influence on people, people that they can say jump and everybody says how high, right? But let's make a list of a couple dozen people. And let's go out and find your first three, I'm gonna call that your board of directors, your board of directors. And if you, if you watch that video on the uh, profit summer number eight, the wealth builder system, you'll find out why I really feel that it's important to, to have those first three right away. And you want them to be good people, recruiters, right? And, but at this point, you wanna try and get them to be three great recruiters, but you're not gonna slow yourself down because of it. You're going to find those first three. And we want to do that in the first two weeks. And if this makes sense to you, don't you think that you could find three that it would make sense to? Mary's going to say yes. If she says no, I'm just going to tell you, chances are you're talking to the wrong person. You're talking to the wrong person. If Mary said this is going to take longer than that, she can't find those people, she's the wrong person because can't usually means won't. So that's where you want to go with this. And then at that point, you know, you're, you're, you're going you're gonna to say, so the first task that I'm going to ask you to do is make your list. Don't go talk to anybody. Don't try and sell them on the plan. But we really should train on this so I can show you what to do. So the first thing that I'm going to do is not go on prospect. The first thing I'm going to have you do is make a list of a couple dozen people, you know, 12 to 30 people. And then I'm going to show you what to do. And we're going to talk and we're going to share this information. You know, I believe in what Tim Sales has taught. It's the Navy SEALs approach to, to things. And they say that you don't just teach somebody till they get it right. You don't throw them out to the wolves and say, oh, there you go. See, and that's the biggest problem with this industry is that most people, that's what they've been trained, is they've been trained that, like the guy that, that I can't even remember his name, the guy that signed me up for Amway back 34 years ago, right? Here's your box of stuff. 
And good luck. Good luck. Well, he didn't even say that. He won't call me back. He hasn't called me back in 34 years. Holy cow, right? And uh, so my goal is, is like Tim Sale says, and like the Navy SEALs approach, I'm going to teach you how to do this, not just till you get it right, but I really want to train you how to do this thing so you don't get it wrong. To me, that's important. Now, some of you might fail on me. You know, I, I'll call you back and I'll say, hey, um, Mary, did you get your uh, list done? No, no, didn't do it. Or did you watch that video? Mm, no, didn't, didn't watch that video. What is she trying to sell me? She's trying to politely tell me, no, I'm not going to do this. I accept that. Look, I understand. I understand. You're busy. You've got kids at home. You've got a full-time job. You know, you're nervous about the economy. Whatever it happens to be, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Every excuse is equal in my book, no matter what it is. And at this point, you know, maybe the timing isn't just right. I'll still work with you. You let me know when you get that list done. And then we'll go from there. I'll call you back. You know, honestly, have I lost some good people? I probably have, right? I probably have because, um, you know, if, if they don't do the first task that I've asked them to do, I don't want to feel like I'm chasing them around. I don't want them to feel like I'm harassing them. I don't want them to feel like I'm chasing them, right? I've given them the task. They've already said they want to do this. I'm showing them how to do it. If they choose not to do it, that's up to them. It's not up to me. Anyhow, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to say, um, when do you think you can have that done? Do you think you can have the first list of maybe five or 10 done by tomorrow? Great. Let's talk tomorrow night. I'll call you at eight o'clock or whatever time it happens to be. And then let's talk about what we're going to share with those people. You see what I said? Let's talk about what we're going to share with those people because I want to be there to help you do this. But bottom line is, is that's what we're going to do. And then um, we're going to teach them how to go out and, and prospect. Now, when we're building the wealth builder system, it's built in blocks of three. So this is important to understand. And this is something that if you listen to corporate videos, they really don't say this, but in my opinion, and the opinion of the people that I've talked to that really understand the, this wealth builder system, the first three are your most important three. Why? Because you get paid a bonus on the work that they do to infinity, both in depth and in width. Now, when you watch that video, they don't say that, but it's important. So if you had somebody that's a really, really good prospector, I know people who have who enrolled over 500 people into this business, into Sizzle. Just imagine that that was one of your first three. So you don't get paid on the first three that they enroll, but you get paid a bonus on all the rest. So in this case, if, if my person that I know would have been one of my first three, I wouldn't have gotten paid on their first three, but I would have gotten paid on the other 497, right? Very key. And if you teach them to do the same thing, to enroll their people, now you've just helped them make extra money as well. And I think this is important. You, you teach them the right way. Because if you teach them the right way to do it, right, you're going to get paid less on those people. But they're going to make a bonus on it. And isn't that what we're in this industry for is that we're helping other people get what they want so that we can get what we want. So it might give you a little bit of a penalty in your pocket right away, but long term, it's going to build you a huge check. And I'm going to explain that in a little bit here. But so those first three really important and I'll, I'll, I'll have another video on that. But 
Then the, the next three, four, five, if you're like my friend and you enrolled 500 people, your next 497, now you get paid on, you get paid a bonus, not just on the people that you enrolled, but you get paid on the first three of the first three of the first three to infinity in depth. So you see the difference. On your first three, you don't get paid on their first three, but you get paid on everyone else. And again, I'm going to use the 497 example. You get paid on the 497 example. But in your case, right, when you, when, when you sign up your next three, or let's say that you, you're the one that signed up 497, on those 497, you get paid on the first three of the first three of the first three. Go back and watch that video until that makes total sense to you. Go back and watch that video until it makes total sense. It's really, really important that you understand that. Now, how does this all fit together? Well, because now what I try and explain to people is that so you understand the concept of startup costs, do you understand the whole understanding of monthly overhead? So in my clinic, I had to pay rent, I had to pay office staff, I had to pay utilities, I had to pay for supply, all those things, right? Before I ever could make a dollar a profit, I had to cover my overhead, right? In this business, you have overhead as well. And that overhead, in my opinion, and I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say this the way I look at it, it's 300 PV a month. So depending on what country you live in, depending on your dollar exchange or whatever, but it's gonna be less than 500. So let's just say that you have an overhead, a monthly overhead of 500 or less per month in a business that you're gonna work part-time and in a year it's gonna pay you $3,000 a month. So if you have to put in 500 to make 3,000, isn't that a fair trade, right? That's a fair trade. I think that's a fair trade. Think about it in your traditional business, right? I mean, if you only work two hours a day in what you're doing right now, in a year's time, would they pay you $3,000 a month? $750 a week? $100, $125 a day to work two hours? $56 an hour? right? I've done the numbers. You can tell I snapped those numbers off pretty quick, right? I've done the numbers. I'm a numbers guy. I understand these numbers, right? So we're going to go out and we're going to, we're going to build this business. We're going to do that. So as you do this, and in, in this case, I ask Mary, I say, Mary, you know, has this ever been explained that way to you before? And she's going to say, probably not, probably not. But does it make sense why you want to explain this to people this way, right? Because I'm going to find out right away who my real business builders are. I'm going to find out, are you serious about this business? And then what I'm going to basically say is I'm going to say, okay, so it makes sense to you. You're still here. You're still listening to me. You haven't ran away. You're not crying. You're not looking for a bottle of whiskey so you can, you know, um, forget what I just said. You're still here. So let me ask you this. Do you think that you could find six people that would, this, that would make sense to? And, and I asked for six, and there's a reason. Because it opens up all the different parts of the compensation plan with the wealth builder, within the wealth builder system. But let's look at it this way. If your answer, Mary, is yes, you could find six, which I know you can, then don't you think that those six would also be able to find six people? And your answer has to be yes. I mean, you may have to talk to a few people. In fact, Mary, that's my next question to you. How many people would you have to talk to to find one, realistically, and be skeptical, right? And she's already given you an answer, but you know, get her to say it again, and, 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 and you know, she says one out of 10. So that means that in order for you to find six, you'd have to talk to 60 people. That means that you have to talk to two people per day for the next 30 days. And 
of them, 54 of them want to tell you no right away. So your job really is to get them to tell you no really quickly so you can move on to the six that want to tell you yes. And so I work with this pretty quickly. I, I just, I asked a question. I just say, hey, are you in? Right? And if they say no, which 54 out of 60, based on your numbers, 54 out of 60 want to tell you no, then I'm going to say, you know, Bob, that's Mary's prospect, Bob. So you don't want to get started for the, with the business. I totally understand. You know, it might not be the right time. Whatever your reason is, I, it doesn't matter. Let me ask you this. If I could show you a way that you could improve your health and, and slow down the aging process, <coughs> would you want to take a look at something um, that would do that? And, uh, you know, chances are Bob, Mary's prospects, going to say yes. So then let's go back and let's find out um, what video would we, uh, would we give her, right? And uh, so um, Let's give her this one, an anti-aging opportunity presentation, right? Okay. Right. So let's just say that, that I use that. It's a, you know, just a little bit over 30 minutes long. And it's going to talk about um, different anti-aging pros prospecting type thing. And I'm going to, I'm going to give that to Mary and to, I mean, to Bob, Mary's going to give it to Bob. And, and, uh, and at that point, then Mary's just going to call Bob back and say, Hey, Bob, you know, any interest in that? You see what I mean? You might ask Bob, do you know, I know it's not the right time for you, Bob, but do you know anybody that might be looking for a way that they can generate an extra income working part time? And, uh, you know, black belts do that. They ask for referrals. And uh, so, so that's, that's kind of, that's kind of that. But, you know, I've asked Mary now to come up with a dozen uh, names or whatever. And, and, and so um, that's, that's where we go next. When Mary comes back with those dozen names, I'm going to help her teach her how to do these exact same steps, right? So the first thing is, is really to find out, does the person have any interest at all? I use the 13 and a half minute long video. You know, I call it, I'd say 15 minutes, but it's 13 and a half minute long video. Then um, a yes or no, are you, are you on board? If they say yes, then I go through what I call my interview, right? The questions, um, how much money would you have to make? How much time can you put in it? How long do you think it would really take realistically, right? And I set that up. And then I ask him to do a task. And the task is come up with a couple dozen names. Let's go out and find your six people. Okay? I've summed it all up for you. That's what we're going to do. Now I'm going to explain to them. I'm going to say, okay, so Mary, not only do you just make that immediate money, right? Because that's where the wealth builder system was designed was to pay you that immediate money. But it sets up the stage for the residual income. And, and I don't know if you understand the whole idea of behind residual income, but residual income is money that comes in month after month after month. You work once and you get paid every month for the rest of time on that work that you did. Residual income is really nice. It's kind of like my friend, he, uh, worked with uh, Bob Dylan. He helped uh, with, the, with the Bob Dylan album, uh, Blood on the Tracks. And now every time somebody listens to that album, every time somebody listens to that CD, he gets paid the royalty. He only did the album once way back in 1974, but here it is 2020, and he's still getting paid on it. Think about that. Now, most of us can't go out and play the bass guitar and get paid for the next rest of our life decades on one piece of work you know we don't write a book we don't write an episode for Seinfeld or anything like that and and uh, and get paid for it for the rest of your life so here's how we build that residual income and let me show you this so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say so Mary I want you to watch another video that I'm going to show you show you here and it's profit center um 
right here, profit center number two. Direct commission. So I'll have you watch that. Now, Mary, we've already talked about the fact that you can go out and find six, and we're going to help your six go out and find six, and then we're going to help those six go out and find six, and we're going to build a business based on that, right? So if you just build your business four levels deep, so you find six who find six, those 36 go out and find six, that's another 216. Those 216 go out and find six, that's over 2,000 people. So you've got about 2,500 people in your business at that point. These are just your business builders. We're not talking about people who say, oh, yeah, you know, I can't do the business, but I'll, I'll buy those products. You know, I don't want to have any more headaches or whatever, right? So we're not counting those people. We're just talking about the people that said yes to the business, and they're going on building the business with you. So they're already understand the whole concept that they're going to spend up to $500 a month in order to keep their business in business, right? So add that up, folks. Let's just say it's 300 because that's the requirement. Oh, and check this out. If you do the $300, uh, 300 PV per month, you get paid an 8% rebate every four months on your product. So you actually get back about 24, 25 bucks per month. Doesn't sound like much, but it adds up. It's 8% rebate. Plus, if you do that for a year, you'll get back all of your shipping. So the whole shipping thing, when people say, well, how much does it cost for shipping? It's free. If you do this right, it's free. How does that sound, right? And that's really how I say it to people. And I say free shipping. And, but you can't skip an order. You can't skip one month and get paid for that 11. No, you have to do all 12. You miss one, you're out. You lose it, right? So that's why we do something called an auto ship. Auto ship, auto pay. So set up the order. You can change it every month. I do. I go on a couple of days. You know, mine's set up to come at the beginning of the month. So the end of this month, I'll go in and I'll change my order for whatever products. I'll go through my, you know, product list and I'll figure out which products I'm running low on and I'll replenish those. That's what I suggest you do every single month. Actually, you're going to find out that you're going to use more products than, um, than because you want them all. I mean, seriously, um, I spend way more than the 300 PV that I'm required to spend. But let's just say everybody spends the 300 per month, right? So now all of a sudden, you've got 2,500 people that are spending $300 a month. You do the math on that. That's your volume. So you're going to get paid some nice bonuses. But on top of that, you've only built four levels deep. You're getting paid 7% commission on that. Well, your original goal is to make $3,000 a month. You've gone out and found six people. You had to talk to 60 to find those six. Holy cow, was that a lot of work, right? I mean, come on, seriously. You know how much you're making? $32,000 per month. I mean, to me, this is a no-brainer. But, okay, let's just say that you're only 10% as good as what we're talking about. And you're only making your $3,000 a month. Let's just say that's how the balls roll. That's how this plays out for you. And you go home with your $3,000 per month. The question is, are you in or are you out? When are you going to get started? Where's your list? When are we going to talk? We can build this thing. I know we can. I've got all those educational training videos for you right there. And, uh, yeah. I mean, is there other parts of the compensation plan that you should learn? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you go out and you find those six people and you put them to work and you build that just four levels deep, I mean, holy cow, folks, you know, you're going to be getting paid um, 
rank advancement bonuses. You're going to be getting paid matching check bonuses. You're going to be getting paid a luxury car bonus. You're going to be getting paid um, retail bonuses on those customers that you signed up. You're going to be getting paid retail bonuses on the customers that your group has signed up. You're going to be getting paid, uh, um, you know, Fast start bonuses for the people when you sign them up or when somebody else in your group signs them up. I mean, really, honestly, if you do what I'm saying, you go four levels deep and you teach people to go out and find six, you're probably going to be going home with about $40,000 per month. And holy cow, what would you really do with that? Most of us have never made $40,000 a month. That's, I mean, that's $480,000. That's a half million dollars per year. That's a half. Would you now be considered one of the elite of the world? Would you join the Illuminati? Come on. I'm just joking around. But seriously, folks, this could change your life. This could change your life forever. And, and that's how I view it. We've got the products. I mean, you want me to prove it to you? Go listen to some of the testimonials. Some of the things that I hear about, <coughs> holy cow, holy Toledo, holy money, Batman, right? So anyhow, have a great day.